SMN's Family Hour Podcast featuring OGs, one and only. What's up? It's the Asimov's Family Hour. How's it going? What the fuck is up, everybody? Yo, yeah. Yo, it's 2023 now. Season two. Season two. We're back at it. Uh, yeah, featuring our very special guest, OGs. Yo, yo. How's it going, everybody? Here, leave, leave forward and introduce oh, yourself. My bad. <laughs> it's the one and only OGs out here, you know, representing live from the 10,000 plus lakes. Yeah, Minnesota. Hell yeah. Hey, how's everybody yeah. else out there in the other states and other countries that have been watching? Hope everybody's doing good. For real. Man, uh, yeah. it's new. Hey, what's up, man? Glad to be back, man. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Everyone have some good holidays and good winter. Uh, yeah, it's nice to be back to the summer, or the spring, and I guess it just snowed and shit outside yeah. of here right now again. But, yeah. uh, Hopefully we'll get some nice weather soon. <laughs> Any announcements for anybody? I mean, we've been doing lately. I mean, we've done a lot over the, you know, probably the last couple of months. Where <laughs> yeah, do we even start? Sure. Um, I mean, we did the tour. That's a big, big thing we did. You know, with Snug Brim, uh, uh, Rockstar, UBI. Uh, UBI. Yeah. So shout shout out to J Rod the Problem J-Rod for the problem. helping us be able to put that together, made it organizing that with yep. the very music and shit too. Yeah. No. I mean, we went all over the place: Kansas City, Sioux City, freaking Omaha. Omaha. New- Minneapolis, Deer River, man. So, yeah, yeah. man, that was you, a good if tour. If you feel so. like it, you know, check the link in the description too. Check out our fucking uh, journey for that tour too. Yeah, as well. nice. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, OG. OG, OGs, what what all you been on? <clears throat> man, not much. Honestly, I just been trying to make a bunch of music. Uh, working with uh different artists. Uh, I got this working with this engineer named Barry Soul out from Argentina. Uh, got a few projects with him in the works, and uh. You know, just kind of like networking right now, making my like presence known out here in the cities, and uh, you know, living life, trying to like balance things out. You know, oh, yeah. that's basically it. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, so it feels like so you're just who's it? Who's this Barry Soul? You said Barry Soul? Or? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Barry Soul. I I only know him through uh, like Instagram. Um, basically, he just hit me up. Uh, and uh, we just connected through like the music. He showed me what he can do with like engineer wise. And uh, where is he from and shit? Argentina. Um, so he's, like, he's out there. And um, we just, you know, FaceTime each other, show the progress of the work and shit. And um, just going from there. You can hit him up on Instagram too. He's, he's a good uh, producer. Yeah, check that shit out. Support other people, you know? Yeah, very so. Shout out to Barry So. Build a family. Have a to reach out. See some shit that he's been working on. What's this song playing right now? This is uh, Been a Minute, right? Yo, yo, this song is Been a Minute. Uh, here I'm just like English and Spanish, you know, to keep it versatile, giving you guys bars. You got any things that you got coming up as far as shows or anything? Show wise, no. Um, I'm gonna try like um, make a presence in uh, May 12th at the Gladiator or Cipher. Um, the people out there. Um, hopefully, I get a chance to like show some bars and shit, you know, uh, spit some facts, and, uh, and go from there. I mean, if y'all, if y'all trying to book me for some shows, let me know. Should be. Yeah, no dude, I mean, definitely, we can get Put you on you shows anytime, the man. Camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Oh, sure. We got shows for days that we can get you on, so. <laughs> Plus, there's other promoters out there, too, so. Yo, I know you're a good MC, man. I've been watching you work over, you know what I mean, years. I mean, mm-hmm. gosh, I, I can't even remember the first time I've met you, but it's it's it was a long time ago, and man, you've always been spitting, so you know what I mean. Yeah, see, yeah. I can see you're really trying to, you know, break through right now and you know get out here. So, shit, I was actually trying to think back, like the show I think I've met you at was probably. I don't know. If I get confused with Big V in the Terminal Bar, but I feel like it was at the Terminal Bar. Do you guys remember? No, it was, it was Big V. High, it was, Yo, well, and the hydrant, hydrant, bro. We brought him to the hydrant. Well, yeah, I'm sure, I'm, sure the the hydrant, I'm sure the hydrant, but I remember like Mayday, like specifically, was like, oh, yeah, you should work with him. He does videos. What? And that was like kind of our initial conversation. Oh, so what God. year time frame was this at? <sighs> yeah, God, this oh, is man, probably maybe 2012, like, 2013, yeah. that somewhere around there. Maybe crazy. before that, low key. Low key, it probably crazy. was, bro. That's what I'm saying. You've been grinding for a minute, so you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Get back to, you know, I just see you're getting back to it, you know yeah. what I mean, more frequently. I had to take a break for a while, uh, kind of like re uh, readjust myself or like re, I had to like reevaluate 
my like my shit that I was doing because um, I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. So I have to, you know, like. I find that everybody in the industry ends up doing that eventually, right? Like everybody ends up spreading themselves and stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. Then I was like, shit. I speak, I speak more than one language. So I'm like, I need to take advantage of that, and yeah, that's yeah. kind of where I'm like, shit. But in order to do that, I also need to like study it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need to also. I'm not just gonna like go there and just sound dumb. And, yeah, exactly. You know, just. So that's kind of how it is right now. Okay, so you just kind of rebranded yourself and stuff. Yeah, rebranded yeah, myself. Yeah, you had the name change, right? Yeah, I had to, <laughs> I had to change my name. Um, basically, long story short, um, I lost the rights to the name because I was naive on the business of the music and how it works. You know, it's not just about creating; it's actually about like the business strategies of it. Um, I had a writer's license for the name Young Apollo. But I did not have like full copyrights of it, and um, and other licenses that I needed, and then another artist that was using that name, uh, basically was able to prove that that name belonged more to him, and that more people recognize him as that artist. So um, when I realized I was like still young enough to start over and do what I need to do, uh, compared to just trying to fight a, a battle that. I don't know if it was how long it's gonna take, how much energy it's gonna take. I just started a new path. It took me a while to figure out, oh geez, oh geez comes because of my name, Jesus, Jesus. You know, geez. Uh, it's also like a Minnesota thing. You know, like I feel like it's like a lingo thing that we use all the time. So I wanted to keep it kind of low key to my state, um, as also just like it fits with my name to begin with. So it's like the best of both worlds. And I've always been like. Um, I'm a young cat, but I always had like an old soul. Yo, yo, it's the one and only OGs, live with the family hour. Let's go. Into this type of fire, okay. <laughs> but that's, you know what I mean? That's what, that's where we start, you know what I mean? For anybody coming up, you know what I mean? Doing shows, these are the hey, venues these are the keys. that, yeah, these are, these the, are the venues that are giving everybody their opportunity, so you should go out, Utilize book that. with them, you know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. Go out and find the promoter that books for that place, or go right. talk to the owner, right. and get in there. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, that's where you start. Things, you're not going to get to the poorhouse, you're not going to get to the arenas, you're not going to get to any of these the places armories, if you don't start yeah, yeah, at yeah, these but, local spots. You have to have a portfolio. You got to show it just like everything. You can't just walk up into a fucking museum and be like, hey, here's my fucking painting. My mom likes it on her fridge. It's too close. You know? Like, you got you to gotta fucking build because yourself up and actually shit. show it. Like, I remember you, back you know? in, I remember my first tour. Um, it was the Addictions and Temptations tour, and it was in Addictions and Temptations tour. That's crazy. Yeah, it and dude, we performed in a freaking gym. It was a the gym. Yeah, you know what I mean? I was that Fairbolt or no? That yeah, that was Fairbolt. Fairbolt. You know yeah, I remember that gym. Shit. People were playing basketball and shit during performances. Yeah, it's it like crazy. local people were still just doing gym activities and shit. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, enjoying I it, it, but you know, it's just... I've been listening to music all my life, so I just. The time that I really wanted to take it serious or like make it a, a career would be high school, about between freshman and sophomore year. But freshman year when I was like, shit, I got the energy. I need to get down to it. Uh, it was just, honestly, it was just freestyling. Uh, freestyling and just fucking around with like the homies. You know, we're just kicking it and shit. And we just, somebody would just start kicking like a beat or something like that, you know, beatboxing. And then other people would just like start busting out rhymes. The old cats in the block, um, they would always have like some like, they would always just have like, m like music playing and shit like that. And they would always just be rapping over the the rap, like the lyrics and stuff, you know, it's just on the beat. And they wouldn't give a fuck and just kind of just part like that. just always constantly happening and happening. It was always around. So right, we right. just... It just kind of just felt natural. Just, you know what I mean? All the, you know, stuff aside. No, what else, it, it, what, are, it, what else have we got going for you, OGs, man? I mean, I know you've been doing tracks. Me and you got a new song coming out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what else have we got going? Uh, so I'm just really trying to, like, uh, wait until, like, my music has been, like, fully, like, mixed and mastered and shit. You know, sounds like okay. ready for, like, the radios. Because um, yeah. I'm trying to, like, diversify a little bit. Uh, I still want to, like, 
go crazy and make some mixtapes and shit, bring that back. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because I have a, a lot of fucking music, a huge catalog, but I want to like, I need to, I need to like, I'm like basically in the works of trying to, just trying to like build up my fan base, like a loyal community around OGs. And uh, so I can just, you know, take advantage of that shit and then, <clears throat> you know, make music everywhere. Um, and I don't know where to start, 100%. I don't know where to start, but I'm just trying to do what I can. And uh, that's kind of basically it. So I'm just like releasing music, okay. making music, uh, designing, you know, the clothes and shit that I do. Running the websites and everything, managing yeah, yeah, myself yeah. as an artist, yeah. still trying are to create, you producing. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. this is sure. yeah, this is it right here. This is one of the sweaters and shit that we have. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. Where can you get that at? Uh, NewGenerationRecords.net. Okay, okay. Shit out. Uh, Records is spelled with a Z at the end. NewGenerationRecords.net. Yeah. Yeah. Is this dot com? Oh, yeah. and oh, I'm tripping. And you can get it at withgradtoapparel.com as well. Okay, to cool. Yeah, so you yeah, got yeah. it on multiple Gratitude. platforms and stuff like that. That's pretty awesome, man. Yeah, I'm running That's two cool. websites withgradtoapparel.com and then newgenerationrecords.net. Do you find hey. like, one of the domains does better at all for you? Like, is one of them? Well, gotta be a little closer. Right? Yeah, 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 so check this does out. One like, of the domains are better for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, the with Grad to Apparel is separate from my music. That's just more of like shit, just random people can just like, you know, I fucking yeah. go crazy with the socks and shit. I was gonna say, uh, you, I know we were talking about the socks, so, so what, what's the what's deal <laughs> yeah, with the socks? Yeah, the socks like anybody, any, yeah, these socks I made, um, okay. anybody that knows me like, has always known that I always had like some funky ass socks. Yeah, um, yeah. So you're like, fuck it, why not make my own? Fuck yeah, yeah, it made it more like my signature thing, you know, like, uh, eventually when I get like, you know, hella fucking funds, I'll be having the... Nice Bro, you should let us put some, you shit. should let us put an acid men spare sock, sock on there, collaboration. Yes. There you go. That's what See? we're doing, you guys. We'll acid men spare fucking happen. Happen. So far, so far, build it like a landmark, landmark, they just circle like some sharks, a postcard. Coming in a tank, full of all these sharks. Yeah, I've always okay. respected that about you, is like, just the grind, you know what I mean? Like, you guys have always been out there doing shit, so, you know what I mean? It's nice to see you guys are still working, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're trying. Um... Let me ask you this though, let me ask you an opinion, being that you talk about, you know, mixing and getting everything, you know, so prepped up. Like, you know what I mean? There's there's different kind of artists. Some people that are like, they take their time, they sit there and kind of, you know what I mean? They overanalyze things, they, you know what I mean? They think about it so much, so much. And then there's people that just kind of just do it and then just kind of like don't think about it too much. What do you think like is like the proper, you know what I mean, procedure for it? Or is there yeah. no is there no really right way to do it? You know what I mean? I guess yeah, just comes so to your opinion. Every I feel like every artist is so unique to themselves and how with their style of art um, that uh, I can't really like. So I'm super like over analytical with my work and I'm my worst critique. Okay. Um, and sometimes that's why I'm I started expanding and working with different um, engineers and stuff because I feel like I was taking too long working on my music. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I like fuck. I hear something and I just don't like it, and I re-record it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you spend more time, more time. And I'm like fuck. I'm wasting time not releasing the content. Yeah, did you? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you ever yeah. get to the point where then you don't drop the song? Then you're like fuck. I just wasted yeah. like 20 yeah. hours of my life on this one song, and now I'm not. Even I think doing a lot of about. artists probably it's, need to hear this bit. It's happened. Out of all it's bits. happened a lot, low key. Yeah. And but that's why like when I'm, now that I'm working with like another engineer and other producers. Okay. It's like way less pressure because in A, I'm not as focused on the beats. Sometimes like I spend days making beats and stuff because I love making beats. I love making noise from silence, you know? Mm -hmm. right. um, for, for me, if I am the producer and I'm trying to use my own beat, if I don't kind of utilize something on it right away, mm -hmm. then I know the just amount of time that I spent on that, I'm going to probably spend that much just coming up with the first couple of bars or the, or the cadence that I really yeah. want to go through with mm -hmm. this. That's why I like finding random beats and I like... Mm -hmm. Fun, you know, beats you can trying to be productive. Yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. it's you know, plus just the being able to find shit that you can't just like make right then and there. But there's right. definitely times as a producer where I made stuff because that's exactly what I wanted to make, and then I amazed myself because I'm like, damn, you right. know, yeah. 
you set out to do that and didn't even think you could. Right. <laughs> and you're like, holy shit. And then you made a song to it too. And then you're like, you yeah, think the song yeah, is pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Like, that's a great feeling, man. Honestly. And, and I'll be like 100% with you guys. Like for me, like last year, um, no, I lied, like two years ago, I tried going like a full year just making mixing, mastering, engineering, um, writing right. all my music and everything, not working with any producers. Mm -hmm. Those songs didn't even get that much like recognition and stuff. And then right. like last year, I started working with other producers or even like doing songs with like with, uh, produced by Sunwise or whatever. And, like that shit got more attention than anything so i'm like fuck maybe i need to just that's the change that i need you know right um, involving people yeah 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 it's just the networking yeah, yeah, yeah. getting you yeah. know what i mean Low, like, yeah the more people that you talk to the more people yeah, are going to know your name they're i think talk about you in i a think certain the big, sense you know what i mean yeah the big spreads thing the name too word of mouth interest though is it makes right. it more interesting no, it is. I, I like collabing with people, you know what I mean? Just because of the simple fact that you do hear something different that you probably wouldn't have made. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Certain artists will pull certain things out of you, for sure. And then, like, yeah. it might not come out right there, but it might come out fucking four weeks later <coughs> when you hear a different beat and you make a different song. And you're like, holy shit, I would love to hear that artist on this, you know. Yeah, I've always yeah. respected that about you is like just the grind. You know what I mean? Like you guys have always been out there doing shit, so you know what I mean? It's nice to see you guys are still working. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're trying. Um Let me ask you this though. Let me ask you an opinion, being that you talked about, you know, mixing and getting everything, you know, so prepped up. Like you know what I mean? There's there's different kind of artists. Some people that are like it, they take their time they sit there and kind of you know what i mean they overanalyze things they, you know what i mean they think about it so much so much and then there's people that just kind of just do it and then just kind of like don't think about it too much what do you think like is like the proper you know what i mean procedure for it or is there no is there no really right way to do it you know what i mean i guess yeah so to your opinion every i feel like every artist is so unique to themselves and how with their style of art um that uh i can't really like so i'm super like over analytical with my work and i'm my worst critique okay um and sometimes that's why i'm i started expanding and working with different um, engineers and stuff because i feel like i was taking too long working on my music um because i like fuck i hear something and i just don't like it and i re-record it yeah yeah and then you spend more time, more time, and I'm like, fuck, I'm wasting time and not releasing the time. Yeah, did you, you know? yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you ever get to the point where that you don't drop the song, but you're like, fuck, I just wasted yeah. like 20 yeah. hours of my life on this one song, and now I'm not I think a lot of all. artists yeah. probably need to hear this bit. It's happened, happened, out of all it's bits. happened a lot, <laughs> low-key. And, but that's why, like, now that I'm working with, like, another engineer and other producers, okay, it's, like, way less pressure, because in A, I'm not as focused on the beats. Sometimes, like, I spend days making beats and stuff because I love making beats. I love making noise from silence, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, for, for me, if I am the producer and I'm trying to use my own beat, if I don't kind of utilize something on it right away, mm -hmm. then I know the just amount of time that I spent on that, I'm going to probably spend that much just coming up with the first couple of bars or the or the cadence that I really yeah. want to go through with this. That's why I like finding random beats, you know, like, but, you know, beats and yeah, canvas. Yeah. Plus, yeah. <laughs> just to being able to find shit that you can't just like make right then and there. But there's definitely times as a producer where I made stuff because that's exactly what I wanted to make, and then I amazed myself because I'm like, damn. Yeah. You, know, yeah. Out, you set out to do that and didn't even think you could. Right? <laughs> and then you're like, holy shit. And then you made a song to it too. And then you're like, you yeah, the song is pretty yeah. good. Like, that's a great thing. Oh, and I'll be like 100% with you guys like for me like last year um, no, like two years ago I tried going like a full year just making mixing mastering engineering um, writing all my music and everything not working with any producers those songs didn't even get that much like recognition and stuff and then like, last year I started working with other producers or even like doing songs with like produced by Sunwise or whatever and, like that shit got more attention than anything so I'm like fuck maybe I need to just that's the change that I need, you know, so, um, involving people. Yeah, yeah. yeah just the network and getting, you know yeah, what I mean. Low, yeah. The more people that you talk to, the more people yeah, are going to know your name. They're I think talk about you. I like, think the big, sense, you know what I mean. Yeah, the big spreads the name, word of mouth. Interest, though, it makes it more interesting. 
No, it is. I, I like collabing with people, you know what I mean? Just because of the simple fact that you do hear something different that you probably wouldn't have made. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Certain artists will pull certain things on it, for sure. Yeah. It might not come out right there, but it might come out fucking four weeks later. <laughs> you hear a different beat and make a different song. And you're like, holy shit, I would love to hear that artist. You know? There's a lot of Minnesota artists that motivated me when I was making music in my high school that kind of like pushed me to want to continue to pursue. One of them was like Mike Dreams, R.I.P. Um, I heard his mixtape in like that Piff or like live mixtapes a long time ago. And when I found out he was like from Minnesota, that was huge. Taylor J, another one. Mm-hmm. And then we actually like, I met him before even knowing who he was, Taylor J, at like a Rice Street boxing gym. Um, and then my brother told me who he was, and I was like, oh, shit. And then there was just like, there were some other Minnesota rappers, um, I think Carnage the Executioner or something like that. Oh, yeah, Carnage the Executioner. I mean, yeah, we, the show, we get to the fucking venue. Oh, we get to the venue after driving through a snowstorm, fucking almost died on our way yeah, over this, here. Yeah, this requires a Fun little bit out. of detail, too, real quick. Yeah, so we were driving... As a convoy, all the artists on the tour, the big tour van, yep. you know, J Rod, the problem, and everyone riding in their tour van and yeah. shit. And yeah, there's semis on the side of the road. We're trying to drive as cautiously as possible. Obviously, people in the area are still driving their normal speed because they're used to sleet and stuff like that. Right. Needless to say, we make it almost to Omaha, and Justin gets a text. Yes, I get a text sitting there saying, you know, that they're canceling the show due to staffing issues or something with the flight. Weather, Come yeah. to find out all of it was bullshit. They had a show later that night, but it's cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought we were going to leave that out, but yeah. Oh, it's geez. cool. There was multiple scenarios involved yeah. in what happened. The it's okay. Day. I'm not too worried what, about it. This what business. ended up happening was we ended up getting a show that was fucking like right in the heart of the city on the main strip. Fucking like parking yeah it's, it's called the old it's with. called the old market if you guys are yeah. not you're probably not familiar with omaha first of all so, listening to our podcast beautiful. so <laughs> for you guys when you guys had to do that decision making process like who who took control like yeah it, we sit there in that first like like i don't know we didn't really know what to do at first. we went to we went to a, we went to a the, fucking we to, taco yeah, bell we went to a taco bell oh, <laughs> on the tour everybody was on the tour at the taco bell and called venues Twiddled our thumbs we drove everywhere what we were gonna do. and collectively called like 30 places Yes, and eventually we got a hold of somebody. Then we get to the venue. The sound system's fucked. Something's wrong with it. Kyle had to mess with it for like... He fucking literally... saved it. Yes, they had the show. He had probably to fixed their sound for a while. It, Bradbury <laughs> had to sit there and mess with it DJ for like Killer three D. hours. The, D, the, 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 the whole DJ still had, had to show. come through. And yeah. like it was awesome. Shout out to something. Gate 10. And, uh, Shout out to Gate fucking 10, yeah. Omaha. Omaha, we love you. So we'll be back. That was, was a great experience. That was so, yeah, honestly. Go back to men's Do it, acid men's baby. Like, I guess we're doing like renovations or something. What do you got to plan in the next like five years? What is like, is, where do you plan to be? Like, are you plan to do like, I know, um, I mean, have you ever tried, thought about doing shows in other countries, like going yeah. to Mexico or yeah. going to like places like that? Yeah. Going to Argentina since you're working with that producer out there? Yeah, like yeah. literally, uh, two weeks ago I just got my passport. Um, for that reason, um, okay. uh, go to Mexico and shit. Um, I got family out there that makes music. Yeah. And um, just so, uh, based on like circumstances and shit of like shit that my people have to deal with, um, mm-hmm. you know, we just finally got are able to like go to Mexico, go to Mexico and shit without problems. Yeah. You know, not what being yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. not being able to come back even though you're yeah, a US yeah, yeah. Yeah, So yeah. Um, just stuff like that. Just does <laughs> something, you know. So now, now that that's possible, like I'm gonna go out there, like meet my family and shit, and actually, oh, like, shit, okay. maybe I don't even know, like if I can collaborate with them, man, that'd be crazy. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, and because there's so much fucking talent out there. I was gonna say you're saying they're like they're musicians or something. Are they not? Like, yeah, they they're not like rappers and such. Oh or... no, no, these guys like you know they play like the guitar. They're like on the drums. Oh, they're okay. like you know okay. they're um. So full band. Huh? Yeah, yeah, like mariachis and like. I guess yeah. I guess to touch back in the media, I ask like how how are you working it so you're able to go do something like that? Then what's your goals to be able to do right. it? Yeah, so luckily they have a studio out there. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna like I've been just talking with them, you know, just kind of like communicating. 
uh, letting know about the, the music and stuff that I have right. and shit like that. And because I'm not like, even though I make my own beats and stuff like that, like I'm not musically trained. <laughs> But I just like train myself by ear, mm -hmm. and I just like patterns, you know. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. So like, maybe be able to go out there uh, and actually learn some. Yes, shit. exactly. Hands on versus right. yeah. yeah, taking some. Tutorials and I'm, yeah, something. I'm super excited right. about that. And, and if I could get a chance to go out to like Argentina and shit, that'd be perfect. But to answer your question, Mayday, like in five years and shit like that, uh, I want to like, I want to be out there touring uh, different countries or like go out the states and shit. Um, you know, I do want to like. Uh, I still have to like you know make money and shit like that, so business still has to be done. Right. Um, and and that's just like you know open so, up like commercial studio yeah. for for artists and shit like that, or you know something that I can just like you know make shit possible for like the community because yeah, oh geez, it'd be know, better yeah. to see that sooner than later though. A hundred percent. Honestly. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. If y'all can, full oh, fuck. If I can do it earlier than five years, I will. <laughs> I well, you, you know what I mean? You're, 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 you're going for so, you, you got positive goals. You got good intentions. You're trying to, you know what I mean? Do the right thing and make the music for the people. And you know what I mean? Do, yeah. Do, do, do so, give back to your community and stuff like that. So that's pretty awesome to see. A hundred percent, dude. Uh, like I, I'm not even like I'm just an average person. I'm just trying to do incredible things, though. Um, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Is that someone else's quote? Because you yeah. said that so fast. I'm not sure. I'm just an average it's person. I'm just trying to do incredible things. Yeah, yeah. But it's from The Incredibles too. <laughs> <laughs> we all only saw Incredibles oh, once. We all remember that shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, hey, let's spin it back though, Mayday. Hey, what about you though? As far as like five year goals, five. what are we really trying to see oh. out of like the shit you've done throughout music versus what could you see Honestly, yourself doing? At, at this point. I mean, I'm going to probably make music, you know, for fun, you know, here and there. But, like, honestly, I'm trying to move out of it. And what I want to do is honestly build a platform for artists to be able to come together, get on, you know, shows, you know what I mean? Be able to tour together, do music videos, get ever give everyone a platform because not everyone you know even knows where to find the opportunities to do that people just starting out people have been it, in the game for 10 years yeah exactly yeah. you know what i mean it, it, it's about building you know what i mean building the culture you know what i mean as it has for over the last what has hip-hop been around for like 50 years now it's, it, it's getting there right it, or it's it's probably even over that well yeah right. remember we saw d bomb wearing the shirt that said 50 years of hip-hop so yeah. was that in reference to that's what, what i'm saying <laughs> it's like i'm trying to build the platform for everybody just to you know get to their dreams get to where they want to be it's like dude we've done it i mean we've done shows from one side of the country to the other it's exactly. like, at this point yes you know what i mean have we ever done we're not doing huge. Okay, but let's do some shows in Canada in the next fucking year. We could. 65 days. We can fucking make that work. We can passports. What 200 something dollars? Like, right. we can figure that out based on like merch sales and all that shit. And people, if you want to support us and see us come out to fucking Canada and actually see this shit, there you go. we'll actually take <laughs> donations. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to, shit. you can call Cut to right commercial now. break. Cut to commercial break, right? You know I'm all about my etiquette. You know I'm all about my etiquette. Conqueror, better have your plate. Fuck your set, yeah. Uh. If I can be a part of the next person, yeah. at least I know that in my heart that I helped that person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it's like I'm not even trying to get something back. Like, oh, I'm gonna get rich off this person. Just to know in your heart that you helped somebody along the way. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Which I've done exactly. for a lot of people over the years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I don't even think of it as like creating an established for other people, but just showing like how you can do it the right way at this exactly. point. Exactly. <laughs> it's like we've done things do it, you wrong. Know what I'm we've done things Whether over they're working over. with me or working with, <laughs> the they're working with OGs yeah, yeah. or they're working with anybody else. They, at least they can utilize, you know what I'm saying, certain things, yeah. and, you know and what I mean? The problem is a lot of good artists end up falling off because there isn't the correct platforms to fucking showcase their abilities and shit, you know? Like, Y'all, we're doing some urban exploring. <laughs> My first smoking song. Um, and it's just talking about, like, you know, like, I do reckon, like, so I, I smoke, right? I have a lot of smoke. But I don't, like, enforce it on anybody. I don't say that anybody should smoke and shit like that, you know? Right. But I, I do think that everybody should try it at least once when you're in, like, the proper mindset and proper age. Right. You know, just, like, the right, like, headspace for it and shit like that. Just before they knock it, at least. Because, you right. know, like, yeah, right away I just heard the bar and you're like, oh yeah, stereotype me, it's like I'm not productive. Yeah, like, you know, do the 
Oh, geez. So, like, do you think, like, they're making fun of it or no? No, I like it. It like adds it? to the vibe. Hey, do people do that with art? Do people, fucking memorable, right? do people don't yeah. do that with my name, so I get jealous with my name. You don't think Snoop Doggy Dog got fucking hounded for that shit for a minute? Bars. No, uh, no, no, but he's more saying it like, dude, we are, we kind of just constantly say it in like a sentence, like, oh, geez. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Because was it like, that's the question. This will be for like a whole time. day. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we asked him twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, OGs, uh, everything's on OGs, um, SoundCloud. We'll plug it in uh, right here. Spell it out for Spotify. Him. Right here. O H dash J E Z E. Our new generation records with the Z dot yes. net. We are S. Smith. This is the family hour. Yeah. Episode two. Come Thank soon. Tune in. Tune in. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so basically for been a minute. Um, when I was first making it, I'm trying to think back to what type of music I was listening to because that's really what happens each month. I'll listen to like a genre of music. Uh, one month would be like, you know, UK grime music out there. One month might be like reggae. One month might be like Mexican rap, shit like that. And I was listening to a lot of like UK drill music, specific artists, like this artist named Dutch Valley. And uh, he kind of had like a dark, darkish vibe to his music. So I kind of wanted to do something like that. And been a minute, I feel like I'm always like the nice guy making it. So I want to, you know, also show that like, you know, I'm all about the peace until somebody wants a piece of me, basically. And um, I just want to, you know, spit some bars and also do it in English and Spanish so people would, like, you know, understand that I'm versatile and still trying to introduce myself as OGs and who I am in this, like, setting or in this little environment music scene here. You know, everybody's heard of me, but nobody knows me. See what happens. In the minutes, I felt like this, so my building shit is all business. I'm gonna trust my gun, do intentions. These are my dreams, that's why I'm independent. Even if I drop my glasses off, in the same vision. Oh, gee, some of us just run spit. It's my job, I'm legit every day. It's a risk from the camera, all the tapes and compact discs. But I rap as a gift, not to mention my presence is a present within the present Competition walking dead, I'm a walking legend Use a rhythm as my choice of weapon Fatality, make your head spin Numero uno in your top ten I'm on air, truly get, I'm not dead Only thing I'm dropping is my knowledge Some call it that, street college I'm proud of that, new heritage I'm locked up, crushing from the cage Old school like handwriting on a notebook page Still doing my thing, ain't nothing change I can't switch the frame, but I switch the aim Still in my vein, going against the grain Still numb to the pain, no overcame Yo, know my name before the fame. This for my team. More than a game, a CEO, I will remain. Hey, hey. No importa el idioma, no problemas. Entrenando para las batallas. Estudiando para mejorar las estrategias. Una vida de leyenda. Desde chico ya sabía que iba a ser una gran estrella. Amor por la arte. A ver, donde me lleva. Este de dos dios, como si tuvieras caminando en las selvas. Fíjate donde pisas y donde pones las manos. Y siempre hay que ver. Por todos los lados. Pretty simple. I just like low key. I want to motivate people um, and make music that like they can relate to in many many ways. Like motivational songs, you know, or like energetic songs, or just like you know, positive songs. Like if people are having like you know a song about like winning, you know, I want to make a song you know about that, just so like people can relate to it. But also just like real shit that people just deal with daily. Um, it sounds cliche, but I'm really just like, I'm trying to do great shit, but also just remain average. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dope. Yeah, trying. Um, basically, OG's anywhere, and it's spelled O H dash J E E Z E. Um, you go on my website, newgenerationrecords.net. Records is spelled with a Z. <laughs> um, OGs everywhere else, like Instagram, Twitter, uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, shit, everywhere. Uh, Google. Always a <laughs>
approaching Take a breath and keep composing Drown it out I don't have time for jealousy, working on my legacy Your heart skipped the beat when I admitted that your love for me But since my love for music just can't compete I'm selfish with my time, just ask my family And fuck love, I need that loyalty Cause someone has to run my LLC When I, R.I.P. no that's peace Flipping my dreams into reality No fear in me, I know you hearing me